Ladies and gentlemen, let me talk to you about my first impressions with what I think about the Division 2. Currently, I am level 20, and yes, I still have a long way to go to get like a full-on impression and a full-on review type of deal out of the Division. However, I've just been kind of casually playing it. I've, you know, a lot of AFK time has happened too, but I've just been really enjoying the game. Right now, especially with every other looter shooter, when you start off, every bit of loot you get is exciting well most of it because i typically seem to be getting nothing but shotguns and smgs and most of my weapons that i have gotten were pretty sucky however through playing the game and through getting some more you know loot and all this stuff i've encountered some really cool weapons to play around with right now i'm rolling around with uh, an extended mag on my m4 and well it's uh it's it's packing quite a punch and i'm really just enjoying like you know gradually slowly but surely getting towards a higher rank and really seeing and feeling myself become more powerful as the game goes on the division 2 in terms of feel feels a lot like the original division at least from my memory uh, because i think it's also important to note that the division 1 i have played that but i played it until they released the second update i think i played it a good three weeks or whatever and then i was just kind of done with it because the end game at that point in time during the launch was seriously lacking now i can't touch on the end game too much just yet mainly because i haven't really played the end game yet um and but from what i've been seeing that's all the good stuff within uh, the end game so there's definitely a lot to it and also of course they're going to gradually add more and more stuff as time goes on such as a raid what etc etc but the overall game in terms of the gameplay i feel is is definitely a lot of fun there's a lot of things to do within the uh, world itself too you have something like control points for example and just a whole host of things that you're able to engage into the world itself looks very cool and it has a lot of it has a very cool vibe to it and also what I personally also really enjoy is the fact that the main missions feel a lot more immersive in a way too. There are some set pieces here and there too. There happens a little bit more than going from point A to B and killing a bunch of guys in, during the process of that. Side missions aren't like they were in Division 1 where they were very short and just gave you a bunch of XP for essentially doing nothing. Now with the Division 2, side missions actually kind of feel like, you know, main missions in a way. They don't really feel like, you know, you're kind of thrown in there for the sake of it. They feel like they're definitely more thought out about. Personally, uh, going the way I'm going right now, I've just been really enjoying doing the control points, for example. Especially because doing that side of the activity within the world, not only do you get a decent amount of XP for doing those control missions, you also unlock something very neat, which is a supply room. If you liberate a control point, you will open up a supply room, and within there, you can find all sorts of new gear. And typically, it is stuff that is much better than that you already have. Obviously, RNG is still involved, but it is always exciting when you do get that next weapon that is just a little bit better than you what you already had and makes your life a little bit easier while roaming through the worlds of Washington, D.C. And yes, I definitely do side like a crack addict trying to get my next high, but hey, I guess that's kind of what a looter shooter really is. Now, having said that, because I do play this on my own and I don't really have a dedicated group to play around with, I have to say that it's not really pulling me in massively. It's not really a game where, like, I think about, like, oh, you know, I really want to go and start, you know, playing some more of Division 2. And then when I'm playing it and I'm ranked up, like, once or twice, I'm just kind of, like, losing interest over time. And it might be because, you know, I'm playing it on my own and, you know, missions definitely feel a lot lengthy if you are playing on your own but it definitely is a game that you should at least play with one other friend i feel the game will probably be a whole lot more enjoyable and just i mean overall also easier because on solo stuff can get you know pretty hectic you know being flanked from all sorts of sides within the missions but overall i think as a solo player you can definitely still play this game uh, very effectively but if you're heading towards the end game more and more i feel that if you don't have a dedicated group or clan or whatever you're probably going to have a very tough time getting more enjoyment out of the game than you might have already had but those are just some of my quick first impressions with the game if you have played the game yourself or you might even be a little bit further 
than I personally am, feel free to let me know down in the comments down below. But with all that said and done, thank you all so very much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe for more, and I'll see you all later. Probably in a full-fledged review when I actually played the endgame.